now that we understand one point perspective, let's add another vanishing point. Uh, this is going to make things a little bit easier and a little bit more lifelike. What we're going to do is put two vanishing points, one, two, and not put them close to each other. Put them as far on the edge of the paper as you can be, okay? One, two, here, like this. If we think about our shoebox, same shoebox drawn with two point perspective, we're in, with one point perspective, we started off with a face. In two point perspective, perspective, we start off with a edge. So we're going to start off with a vertical edge. Now, one thing I didn't discuss, if, if I want a vertical and I had a triangle, it's so easy to make a vertical edge like that. See, because that's a perpendicular to it. There's my vertical edge. Now, just like before, we need to make four vanishing lines. So here are our vanishing lines. Now I have what looks like a large V. If I am thinking about my shoe box, it will have a shorter side and a longer side. So a vertical edge is still going to be vertical. Here. And there's a face right there. I'll make that one darker. There's another edge that goes here. It should be a little longer. I'm not asking you to measure. We're just going to make it look longer, but it's still going to be vertical. And there is another edge. Finally, we need to draw the top. So, Here's the top. And from that's this vertex to that vanishing point, and we need this vertex to the other vanishing point. And they intersect, I don't have to guess. There it is right there. And there is my shoebox. Three faces shown. If I wanted to go back and put in the hidden edges, there's one that's vertical straight down there. This one would go from here, head it toward that vanishing point. This one would go from here, head it toward that vanishing point. Not too bad, right? Well, let's make another one, okay? So, since I can see the top, that means my horizon line is above. If I needed to see the bottom, then I would, have, of course, have to have my horizon line below. You also could have the horizon line going through. That means that I can't see the top or the bottom at the same time. I want to make one more drawing. This time, I want to imagine a cereal box flying through the air. Uh, so if it's flying in the air, that means my horizon line needs to be below. So I'm going to draw in this section. And I want it to be cereal box, so it's narrow and wide, right? So you can hold it like this. But All right, so two-point perspective. Two-point perspective means I start with a vertical edge. Vertical edge this way. Boom. Then... Vanishing lines. One. Now, another vertical edge that 
So we'll make it here that the pizza box is narrowed this way. So vertical perpendicular to my horizon. Here. Now you'll notice that that's very sharp angle. If my paper was bigger, that would be, you know, further away, things like that. So there is definitely an artistic ability to this that I do not necessarily possess. Another vertical edge here. So I have an outline of two of the faces. A bottom of the box will be made with two more vanishing lines. One, two. Now you can see, without darkening it in, you can see the flying picture of the, of, excuse me, of the cereal box. As a matter of fact, here would be the image of the Wheaties box or something like that. So let's just, let's go ahead and put that there. There's a box right there. So if, if the label, it would go right there in here. And these would have to be not parallel to this, okay? Not parallel, but actually this from here to here would have to be a vanishing line also. So I kind of drew that and you know, I guessed really well. This one here to there and there. So now that looks like a pizza, excuse me, a, a cereal box and that would be the label. Maybe I lied. Maybe this is not a cereal box. Maybe in fact this is a wooden uh, frame flying through the air. So if it's wooden frame and it's hollow, then I could see through that, and oh, there'd be a back edge going there. Now, it wouldn't go on forever and ever. Again, there would be a stopping point. But I don't know where to make that stopping point. Uh, but yes, I do, because this represents the back edge. So I'll get my longer ruler here. From here to here, there's a vanishing line. I'll make it real light. That's the thickness of that. And if I made a vanishing line from here, That is the top ceiling of the hole. And there'd be a vertical line straight there from that down would be the thickness. So I'm going to go back and color this in to make it very clear that I have a frame flying through the air. You'll see how amazing it is impress your friends this one and this one. I think hidden lines in this case make it harder to see. And now I'm going to use my pencil and some of you artistic type will be able to shade this correctly. I'm not sure if I can, but that's that's inside the hole there. You're right. And that one over there is the, actually the top. Does that make sense? So that looks like a frame flying through the air. Tomorrow or whenever I see you next, We'll do more of this drawing, so if yours don't look perfectly, that's what we're going to work. I'll work with you, and we will look at making some nice drawings. So just come in with a, your notes, and I'll have a couple questions for you to answer, and look forward to drawing with you tomorrow. Okay? Bye-bye.